Hi, I'm Wisu. Today we'll be talking about minimalism. This is a style of music that started around the 1960s, and the key idea is simplicity. Because of this, it's one of the more accessible styles of music, and some of the big names who write minimal music you might have heard of are Steve Reich, Philip Glass, John Adams, Arvo Perrett, and Ludovico Einaudi. One of the prominent characteristics of minimal music is the use of repetition. You start with a pattern and repeat it over and over, with some small changes each time. It's actually pretty straightforward, and today I'll teach you in the next few minutes how to write your own minimalist piece. Step 1. Pick a key, say G major. Okay, then pick some random notes from the G major scale. How about G, A, F sharp, B, and D. Okay, so this is now our main idea. We call this the ostinato, a motif that repeats over and over. In the score, I'm going to use this slash notation to say just repeat the previous beat. This way the page won't get too cluttered. So let's repeat the ostinato a couple times with some pedal. You know, it sounds nice already, but it can get boring if this goes on for the entire piece. So let's start making some small changes. Since we're in G major, let's add a bass note, G. Let's continue the process and keep adding more notes. Since we're in G major, we'll keep using notes from G major, but let's pick some notes to make it sound like a different harmony. For example, if we pick uh, G, E, B, this makes an E minor chord. Now, E minor and G major are relative keys, meaning that they share the same key signature. So it's not a huge change in harmony. This is another characteristic of minimal music. The harmonies are often consonant, meaning they share a lot of the same keys. Okay, let's keep adding more notes, but since we moved away from our tonic in the last measure, this time let's return back to G major by choosing, say, five notes in the left hand. How about G, D, A, B, D? Okay, that sounds nice. In the past few measures, we went back and forth, G major, E minor, G major. Let's continue this pattern for the rest of the song. So this measure will be in E minor. Like I said before, minimal music has a lot of repetition. Of course, we haven't forgotten about adding notes, so it's repetition with small changes. This time, let's add an extra D in the left hand of the previous measure, just to add a little movement to propel us into this measure. And we'll also add another E in the left hand to reinforce the E minor harmony. Our piece is developing nicely, but I think there's still room to continue making small changes. So far, the rhythm has been steady quintuplets that keep rolling like waves on a beach. This time, Let's say the tide is rising, so the waves are becoming a little more turbulent. We'll add some faster notes in the right hand. This piece is getting more exciting. Since we made a pretty big rhythmic change in the last measure, let's jump back to E minor and not make any more harmonic changes. Good. I think we can make one more addition by subdividing that fifth note of the quintuplet into two 30-second notes. This will help drive the piece forward. And instead of repeating every beat, we can just change it up a little and repeat every two beats. So following our pattern, we're back in G major.
I think we've arrived at the climax now. So let's keep our harmonic pattern and go into E minor. Now, since we just passed the climax, we can look back at all the small additions to the notes, the harmonies, and the rhythms that got us to this point. Now it's time to let the waves die down and we gradually remove all the small changes that we added. Okay, the waves have calmed down and we're back at a peaceful G major, the same one that we started with. We basically reversed all our changes. So let's end with a simple G in the bass note. And that's how you write minimal music. We made a nice, short, very pleasant sounding piece. But as it turns out, this piece actually already exists. It's titled Stroll Along the Beach, and it's one of the background tracks in Watatsumi Island in Genshin. All we did today, and really what Yupeng Chen did when writing this, was follow a very straightforward recipe. It's essentially a pyramid structure, like the story arc that we all learned in our middle school English class. First, start with an ostinato, which is a repeating motif. And then we start gradually adding notes and making small changes until we reach our climax, after which we start gradually subtracting things until we arrive back where we started. It's simple, it's minimal, and I think any one of you watching this can do this. So I encourage all of you to try out this recipe and write your own minimal music. Who knows, maybe you will be the next Yupeng Chen.